Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I am the Twisted Jedi and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different tips and tricks to dominating with the officer class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now before we get started, be sure to like this video at the end if you find these tips helpful and subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides in the future. Now the officer class has been through ups and downs from being absolutely terrible in the beta, then almost nobody using it at launch, to now being probably the most used class in the game. Now there's a few reasons why so many people have migrated away from the likes of the assault and the heavy class and further towards the officer. Things such as having two of the best weapons in the game, having the fastest battle point gain and being able to heal yourself and your teammates at any given time. During this video I am going to go over the star cards I use to dominate with the officer class as well as explain some of the most effective strategies to getting heroes fast by playing as the officer. I'll also jump into some of the weapons and abilities of the officer class to help you dominate the battlefield. Jumping into the weapon choices for the officer, obviously the first weapon is going to be different for every faction, so that will depend on which map and which side you're on. Next up in the officer lineup for weapons is the S5, which has the most ridiculous recoil in the entire game and feels like you're shooting a desert eagle the way it rocks back after each shot. I'm not a big fan of this weapon, and even with the reduced recoil, it's still very, very hard to use. The weapons I do want to talk about, however, are two of the most dominant weapons in the game. The Blurg 1120 with reduced recoil and improved burst attachments is insanely powerful and capable of taking out some enemies with one headshot. Even after being nerfed, this is still one of the best weapons in the game. The other weapon for the officer is the SE44C, which I run with improved cooling and rapid fire attachments, and it is one of the best weapons when it comes to all around stability and damage per hit. Both of these weapons are amazing choices for the officer class. However, if you need more stability in your weapon, I definitely recommend the SE44C over the Blurg. So now let's jump into the star card loadout that I have been using. Obviously everyone wants to play as a hero, so it only makes sense to have a star card equipped that's going to boost your overall battle points. The Bounty Hunter star card can give an increased amount of battle point output and is available for all classes. So even if you don't play the officer, then be sure to upgrade and equip this card for up to a 20% increase in battle points. The next card I use is the Improved Blaster Turret in order to give my officer's turret more health and a shorter recharge time. I normally use this card as when the turret is placed in the right position, it can be super effective for holding off the opposing team. However, sometimes I will switch this card out for the resourceful star card, which allows your abilities to have a shorter recharge time in order to use them more frequently in battle. This can be really, really useful sometimes. There's nothing worse than being close to death and not being able to heal yourself or throw a grenade because your abilities didn't recharge fast enough. So sometimes the resourceful card can really help you avoid this and come in handy. Moving on to my last star card, you are going to want to listen carefully because this is a massive point you need to follow in order to get a hero as fast as possible. The last star card you need to use is the Officer's Presence card. Now the description on this card says it reduces the delay before nearby allies health regeneration begins. However, what most people don't realize just from reading that description is that every bit of health your teammate regenerates, you get a bunch of battle points. If you can manage to get three or four damaged allies within your Officer's Presence radius, just sit back and watch the battle points rack up as their health regenerates. This is by far the quickest way to get a hero in Battlefront 2 and is much faster than trying to get in vehicles or spamming the fighters in Galactic Assault, which is kind of pointless if you ask me. But yes, you definitely need this card in your lineup. There are some other things that will help you out dominating with the officer class, such as your turret placement, when to attack the enemy or when to support your own team. But the main things you need to remember when chasing that hero is one, use the star card loadout we have just spoken about out. Two, play the objective. Extra battle points come very easily from playing that objective, so do it every single chance you get. Number three, buff your teammates with the officer's presence for a rapid battle point gain. And four, try to stay alive and near your squad as long as possible for double battle points multiplier. Now, one last tip I will give you before I get out of here, guys. If you see a hero moving towards you, it might seem obvious, but don't neglect that flash grenade. Not only will this blind the hero, but it will slow their movement speed as well. And both the weapons I discussed earlier that you should choose for the officer 
Master Class have the firepower to take out the heroes before the blinding effect wears off. Anyways guys, these have been my tips for dominating with the Officer Class in Battlefront 2. If this video has helped you out, be sure to smash that like button down below and comment which tip was most useful. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel as I will be doing a lot more guides like this for the other classes as well as for heroes and reinforcements in Battlefront 2 in the future. And lastly, if you could share this around on Twitter or Facebook or whatever social media platform you use, that would be a massive help in supporting the channel. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the Force be with you.